Hello folks, uh, this is 2022, October, November, paper 1-1 one, one, and the question number is 10. This question is concerned with the chapter, let us say, collision or let us say, uh, momentum, whatever. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> dynamics, let us say. It says two trolleys are held together on a horizontal surface with a compressed spring in between them. So, compressed spring here. When they are released, the trolleys lose contact with the spring. Of course, it has to. It pushes the thing. The trolley of mass 2 kg moves to the left at a final speed of 2 meter per second. 2 meter per second. How much elastic potential energy was stored in the spring? So, what we must have is uh, the Ke of the whole system will be equal to the potential energy. Let's see potential energy. So, if I find the Ke of the whole system after release, we can find this. For that, we need to find the velocity here. Velocity here. So, now what happens is initially everything was zero so total momentum was zero equal to equal to minus 2 into uh, sorry 2 into minus 2 so when uh, according to standards the velocity in this direction is taken negative so 2 into minus 2 plus the mass here moving is 1 1 into this v v is the velocity of this thing so it should be equal to equal to minus 4 plus v this gives us v equal to 4 meter per second so that means the body is moving in the direction right direction with velocity v equal to 4 meter per second. So now the total ke of the system is ke total should be equal to its ke and its ke. So its ke is equal to 1 by 2 into mass into velocity squared. Yes, I can say minus 2 square also I can use plus it is 1 by 2 into mass is 1 kg into 4 squared. So this is equal to, this becomes 2 to cancel, it is 4 plus 4 for the 16 by 2 equal to 8 equal to 12 joules. So the total K is equal to 12 joules. And this K has come from the initial elastic potential energy. So the elastic potential energy should also have been equal to 12 joules. This gives us D as the answer, all the others incorrect here.